Hi everyone, Liz here from Garden Happy. Let me welcome you to summer, yay! And oh boy, do I have a special treat for you today. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you around my garden and show you all the new changes that are taking place now that the weather has warmed up. New flowers, new birds, new happiness, just everything is new and changing and I can't wait to show you. So I'm gonna walk you around my garden and let's just jump right into it and see it all. So because my clematis is in full bloom, I think I'm going to start this video in front of my house. All the beautiful hookera, they're just thriving right now. The colors are so vibrant and beautiful. And check out the society garlic. As soon as this warm weather starts to heat up, oh, they just get so pretty. And my clematis, and the reason why I wanted to start this tour out front. The clematis always puts on a big show in the springtime, but in the summertime, it says hello again and I couldn't be more pleased. Just look at that beautiful flower. Something only God could create. And let's not forget the beauty of foliage. I know we all grow things for the blooms, but look at the beautiful foliage on this coleus. In my opinion, that's just as beautiful as a flower, and it lasts a lot longer, too. And what would be summer without zinnias? I grew these all from seed, and I couldn't be happier. Every morning I wake up, I come out here and look at all these beautiful colors. It makes me so happy. One of the reasons why I love summer so much. The lilies are done blooming, but the agapanthus are just taking off. So much color. This one looks like a little ballerina. That's just what I think of anyway when I see this. And in summertime, the petunias take off. Remember when I first transformed to this garden? It was called Garden Makeover. 
We'll look at the petunias now. It's like a beautiful carpet of snow. And if you notice, all these little vinca sprouts, I didn't plant any of these. These just came up from the seeds from last year. That's what's so wonderful about summer. Hundreds of little surprises in the garden. Looks like my gladiolas are about to bloom. But this little pot, I planted all these pretty little orange flowers from seed. I thought I was planting marigolds, but it turns out I must have gotten my seeds mixed up. Do you ever notice that when you plant things from seed, they always grow way more vigorous? You don't get that instant gratification like buying the little plugs at the nursery, but when they take off, they are way more prolific. So I'm happy. I like these better than marigolds. More Shasta daisies.
lantana. This is my favorite, favorite color of lantana. So this is just one of the many reasons why I love gardening so much. You just never know what you're going to discover. I'm out here cutting down my celery and scattering all the seeds back in my vegetable box and I came across these tiny little pinpoint size beetles. I think this is truly miraculous. Now I know they're not ladybugs because ladybugs don't come out of their cocoons as adults. They definitely go through a larva stage. So anyway, they look like ladybugs, but they're definitely not ladybugs. And I'm having so much fun just watching them.
Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to give a special thank you to all of my new YouTube subscribers. How sweet of you. It's people like you who make this whole YouTube experience more fun and more worthwhile for me. I appreciate you for letting me share my garden with you. What an honor. So thank you again and I hope you have a beautiful summer day in your garden too. Bye.